Making learning for us is about how we all work together to achieve better learning outcomes for the children and families in our Shire. So it's having everybody, all the key players on the same page with similar strategies and similar understandings about what needs to be done with all of our children to make their outcomes better. We decided as a group that this was a fabulous opportunity to build on some of the initiatives that were in place in the Go Goldfields Alliance. It provides you know, a whole professional development aspect for all of us that are working in, um, in the Miraburra area. So what we're wanting to do is to have community services, council, education settings and early year services all pulled together around oral language. Linking learning will give us a chance to extend what we've already started with the connections that we're starting to make between the early year speech pathology service and the school but also I think more importantly linking getting stronger links between the kindergartens and the school. One of the key players that we've had is Maryborough District Health Service. That's our local health service where early year speech pathology has traditionally been based. To go along with that we've actually located that service down at the childcare centre. So we've brought it out of the hospital and put it into the childcare centre and then from there Outreach services are done to each of the kindergartens. All schools will be really focusing on the oral language of their um, children when they start school and they'll have come from settings that we've been working with that identify those children that are most at risk. It's going to be a very exciting partnership between um, within our community because um, we've got uh, so many people who actually understand what the core business is here. Uh, and that's really engaging our parents in the learning for the, for the best uh, outcomes for the students and, and their children. And we're just seeing the benefits of that now. The parents that we've never seen uh, come onto the site are coming onto the site with their children. It's purposeful. It's the best way to do transition because um, when they come here, they're not exactly asked to do very much except to be with their children and to support them in their learning. Daycare. Yeah. has worked really, really well with kinder, that has then worked really, really well with school. And I think that without all the services, then um, we perhaps wouldn't be seeing Declan as a six-year-old reading well, very, very confidently yeah. and speaking very clearly. I have little nieces and they, they're just gone into kinder and they don't know a lot of words. So the words I know, they copy but if they don't get it wrong, I correct them, and then we keep trying. None of this work happens in isolation. What we've really learned is it's the collective impact of everybody working on it together. There's no one person, there's no one program, there's no one initiative that addresses the issue, but it's making sure that you line those things up in a very strategic way. Our vision is that over time we'll make a significant difference to uh, indicators like the AEDI data, but we also feel that we'll make a significant difference to student outcomes and they're quite measurable. It's around making sure that children have effective transitions by us all working together, us having shared standards that we work to, having shared um, language that we can talk to each other around and having an understanding of what is happening in another setting so that we can be respectful of each other's work along the way.